circuit rally course. <laughs> Just arriving at Nico Circuit now. Oh, there are my wheels. Let's go. Oh man, it has been so long since I have driven a Nico Circuit. I am beyond stoked and excited. It's gonna be a good day. Oi! What am I, Pinker? What am I, Pinker? Yeah, kill battle to see you. Oh, so she's pretty this. Psycho Jan. Welcome to today's video. We're back at Nico Circuit. I don't think I've driven here for like an entire year, which feels so weird because this is like my all time favorite track here in Japan. The best thing is, is I've got my chaser here for the first time that I'm able to do the normal Nico layout. I'm really excited about that. I've never driven the chaser here for the normal Nico layout. We were here for an MSC competition. That was this weird reverse layout. Look at Colette go. So I definitely need to say a massive shout out to the boys at Sidex and Fusto for making this happen and bringing all of our cars here this morning so that we could drive with Okachan and Yashio Factory. Okamoto-san, Genki? Genki じゃ ne yo. Nande? Mada nota? Go, hashirimasu ka? Hashirinai? Itai! Gomen ne? Oh my god! <laughs> Okachan is the best. He really is. Thank you so much for today. Okachan, kyo arigato gozaimasu. So I think we figured out before what this box is in Adam's car. We're like 90% positive a mouse was living in your car now. Sorry? I'm 90% positive this is a mouse nest and it was living in your car. No, no, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Why are you saying you're sorry? That I killed him. <laughs> Are you excited to be here though? Oh, stuck, dude. Yeah. You look a little stressed right now. You always say that. I'm never stressed. I can never read you. I just have a resting stress face. Resting, resting bitch face, like stress face. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, got it. But it's focus. It's resting. It's focus. focus. Big focus guy. If you didn't know, the job that I used to do here in Japan before full-time YouTube was actually TV production, and I was responsible for a lot of really cool F1 zone-related stuff. I always like going the extra mile and being creative with different angles and things like that when it comes to driving. So today we're going to be doing a bunch of shots with the brand new Insta360 X3. First of all, I'm going to start by doing a front unicorn shot, this is called, and I guess it's called a unicorn because when this is on here, you kind of give yourself, your car, a unicorn kind of look but it's super simple to mount on we're using the insta360 selfie stick but then just mount straight onto this super easy and everything locks in place i really like how sturdy this all becomes too once you tighten everything i'm going to adjust it so that that's rotated that way and then we should be good video is sponsored by none other than Insta360 and their new X3 360 camera. The new X3 360 action camera is the world's most refined 360 action camera that comes to fully substitute traditional action cameras. The X3's brand new half inch sensor captures the action in vivid 5.7K 360. This means that you can pick which angle you want from that 360 perspective by using the reframing tools in the AI powered Insta360 app. You can export in multiple aspect ratios according to your desired social media platform, which means it's perfect for short form content and vertical videos. It has the most megapixels ever in a 360 action camera thanks to the new X3 sensor. The invisible selfie stick disappears in your edit, enabling you to capture impossible aerial angles and third person perspectives. One important thing to note is that you're getting two cameras for the price of one here. You can put the camera in single lens mode, which then means it's going to be more of a traditional action camera compared to the other full 360 mode. You can even use this in loop recording mode, which means you can use it as a driving camera to not only protect you while you're driving on the streets, but also protect your car when 
you're not in your car. One of my most favorite features is me mode. This fixes the camera to only focus on you. And the best thing about this is unlike when it's in single lens mode, it actually will remove the selfie stick from the frame. And it enables you to skip the reframing process of 360 software in post. Buy the new X3 Insta360 camera from the link down in my description and receive a free accessory. You can choose from the invisible selfie stick or a sticky lens guard. But probably the most important thing is that Insta360 right now is offering massive discounts across their entire website on cameras and accessories in honor of Black Friday. If you wanna get a cool 360 camera, then check out the One RS on their website for a 10% discount, but the offer ends November 30th, so make sure you're quick. Once again, thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring today's video. Check out the link down in the description, guys, to show your support, and let's get back to drifting. say I am impressed by the chaser um, it seems that with the 3.9 diff here we are hitting higher boost numbers than normal so uh, probably because it's also nice and cold got that winter breeze coming through on this nice beautiful sunny day but um, it's just getting a little up there in boost like we're touching 20 psi I did ask Adam and he said like yeah dude he runs like 30 pounds in his stock 1j stock studs and head gaskets so I'm gonna just raise the limit in link and let it let it chooch should be good AFRs are good so we should be fine but I loved looking at this angle I had a quick look at it on the phone and I thought it looked sick but I want to try a rear bumper shot and see what it looks like with some of the angle that we're throwing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this now on the rear bumper I'm gonna try my best to clean the missile surface here so we don't have anything come up a little bit of a uh, moisture on these guys and we should be good this mount is so solid I think it would actually take the trunk off my missile look at that it's literally moving the whole trunk love it I think what I want to do with this on the bumper shot now see the big sampatsu through here <laughs> considering yesterday was cold, wet, and miserable. You gotta be honest with me, you've totally been here before and been driving, right? Cause you're killing it. It feels wild. Right? Well, I think just normally 
workhorse prepared me really well. That's great. Like the entry is very similar. Yeah. So I was kind of doing the same thing, just on like a nicer track. <laughs> You're slaying <laughs> in this good. big boat. It's Love it. Good. Except for the misshifting. Oh, you misshifted? Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. A few times. Yeah, because you third enter and then down to second, it's a bit of a thing. Yeah. You're doing great though. You'll get the hang of it. Okay. Killing it. I'm yet to see Jason do some driving here. I think he's been a little bit of a weak boy. He, he brought two six fives because he just did, he just wanted to roll us all. We're all on two three fives. Oh, here's the memo, man. Oh, come on, man. I told everyone to run two six five in Japan. Anyway, this is a pretty. We do, we do. But when LZ's here, he wants all of us to run two three five so you can keep up. So I run a bit more pressure. He's gonna cry man. You'll be right. You'll be right. <laughs> we'll just put some more air in. Should be good. Yeah, you're right. But Jason's car still seems to be somewhat in one piece. Wait, what happened here? Uh, don't look at that. <laughs> was that at the track? Oh uh, yeah, definitely at the track. It's definitely drifting. You know what? I have a feeling you messaged me and said you just hit a curve <laughs> in a Japanese street. Definitely at my accommodation near Mount Fuji. <laughs> Very. They don't, they don't like street I don't, lights. I don't blame you though, because those roads are normally really narrow, stupid drop-offs and curves everywhere. It's hard to see. Yeah, that's it. It was like one of those. It was a gunner that just came up. Um, and it's yeah. like about a meter, it creates the sidewalk. But, and um, I was like, oh, yeah, the wall's a you know, good meter and a half away. I just, you know, turn around. And just, the, you know, the, uh, the old crunch. Straight into and, it. Uh, yeah. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel stopped. He snapped it in half. Love that, the wheel bounces off the curb. It just destroys your bumper. Yeah, go on. Good times. Time to go for a passenger run with my boy Jason in his new Fresh Mark II. My boy. Let's see how this thing rips. driving with Adam right before we take our lunch break for today. Let's see if we can get his door a little bit. It'll be really cool. I've never done tandems in this car at Nico Circuit, so I'm pretty hyped. And the last time, the first time we like kind of met and hanged out was here at Nico and Adam put a door mark on my Skyline. And I'd love to be able to put a door mark on his car here at Nico Circuit to just seal the deal. Cause that was like, that was nearly five years ago. Let's make some sentimental memories.
Nico Circuit go to lunch. Chicken karage curry. Fresh after lunch, and I just put on a fresh set of 235s on the rear. Fasto's letting me borrow some wheels so we didn't have to remount anything. These have a fair bit of stretch on them though, so I'm curious to see what that's going to feel like with the sidewall bite. I've also now mounted the Insta360 here on the dash, which means we're going to be able to use the front and the in-car at the same time. I think it's going to look sick. So we're going to go out and do a few more laps with that. Misfiring super bad. Um, I'm confident though it's probably going to be something simple. Hopefully, I don't need new coil packs or anything, but we'll pop the hood and see what we can find. So, I took the coil pack cover off and I found that there was a bunch of oil in all of like the spark plug wells. So, I've been cleaning them all out. This one at the back is probably one of the worst of them, and you can see like oil just all in the I guess like the spark plug leads and coil pack. So, I'm cleaning everything out. I'm also taking the plugs out and checking them, um, but I'm pretty confident that's what it is. I want to get out there and drive with them, so we need to hurry up and fix this thing. Fingers crossed that this is all fixed now. I cleaned everything out, plugged everything back in. I'm going to leave the engine cover off for a couple laps just to make sure it's gone. Before, I couldn't do any laps without the misfire. Everyone say a little prayer for me down in the comment section right now. Hopefully this is fixed. tapped each other's doors. No Sugoi. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new. This was on my wheel, right? Was this my wheel? Yeah. Yikes. I think it's the other side, maybe. I don't know. I just can't get over how these Valino wheels I have just keep on, keep on chooching. And I've smacked so many people with them. Yeah, these were the wrong offset anyway, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> wrong offset wheels, so just destroys them. That wasn't a purpose. Graham lights, you know. I just ran out of talent. <laughs> no, you did it. Oh, well. You know what's sick? When we kind of like first met was here, right? And you left a door mark on my, 30, on my 33. Now I'm leaving marks on you here. That's sick. It's funny how time goes on. Anyways, I gotta fix my car. Battery loose, um, fan, electric wire, in fan, making noise, not good, so fix. Um, Misfire seems to be somewhat okay now, it stopped doing it, so... I mean, new motor's going in there soon anyway, so I don't really care. So with Adam knocked out, it was time to do some driving with my good friend Jason. Colette even jumped in and we had this nice triple tandem train going with JZX's. Unfortunately though, as all triple tandem trains seem to go for me, it ended badly.
let's assess the damage. I hit in this corner. Doesn't look too bad. That'll probably come out because that section's been hit so many times. It's nice and, and G. Uh, Colette did smash into the my car here. It doesn't look too bad though, just broken fenders and stuff. I'm more worried about her car. Oh yeah, Ooh, there's a lot of pink there. Hopefully it's not too bad. Overall, my car's somewhat okay. I don't care, it's a missile. More worried about Colette's car and I'm more worried about um, Jason's car as well because he's got to drive that home. <laughs> okay. All right, thank God. It's not too bad on your car. Oh, it's not that bad. Jason, what were you doing? It's, I've had too much rear grip. The tire's like activated. And Wait, I was where did I hit you? Around. Oh. I, I, skate, I got out of it all right. I think you just... A bit of oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got out of it pretty well. Was I'm just... Was that the first yeah, yeah, yeah. Push. Yeah, I gave you a couple pushes. Yo, like... Sick lap, though. Sick, sick lap. Sick I don't know lap. how I survived that. <laughs> I, I mean, Colette's car doesn't look so bad, too. Oh man, that could have been so much worse. Jeez. Throwing backies in front of us? <laughs> I didn't mean it. Dude, second time, I'm like doing a solid lap. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, we gotta clean the track. See my sand? See my, see my sand? <laughs> when I was like. Flame out, of my, flame out of my car. Yeah, huge flame when you threw the backie, and I was like, oh no. So then I'm trying to match you. And I'm like, oh, I think we're going to be okay, just a little bump. And then I'm like, okay, I bump you. And the next thing I see is Colette just flying in. I'm like, oh, no. I was full lock. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's going. I was just trying to pedal out of it. This don't look bad at all. No, Sugoi. It's not too bad. I don't want to open it. I don't want to look inside there. I know what's inside there. The same thing on my car right now. We're good, though. Hey. Now we've officially 100% ripped that, yeah. that Band-Aid off. Yeah, yeah Band-Aid ripped off. I'm you ready to go into my Surrey now. Yeah. You were driving great, by the way. Yeah, I kept feeling better and better. If you want someone to blame, is this guy for throwing backies in front of us. Okay, it happens. <laughs> well, you had one chase where you were number two. I was like, I'll go in. I'll cool the yeah, tires down. Uh, we'll go in now. We've done a lot of laps. And then you're like, go again. Oh, heck. Always the way. Always the way. That last one, right? You should have told me, cool down, cool down. It's all good. I definitely think I got the Matsuri fix out of my system for today. Like, I was super bummed I wasn't going to be able to drive uh, Matsuri, but today was enough for me, I think. <laughs> like, so gnarly. I literally, I was like, no way. Um, I actually can't wait to go over whatever footage we have of that because, like, dang, man. Like, that was, I thought, I thought we were going in harder than we were. And then I was like, oh, we're just going to bump him a little bit so we kind of tapped him a bit which was i think what this side yeah everything kind of like crunched in on this side hang on wait let me get this right yeah it was this side so this kind of all got pushed in here just a little bit not too bad it's been pushed in a few times before so we'll be able to fix that hammer that out i'm not worried um but yeah like it just sounded so much worse inside the car than i guess it was i think we got out of that very very lucky unfortunately colette's car's a little uh a little beaten up but at least uh, she's all good and high spirits about it. But lots of door taps today. Felt great. And my side skirt now just needs a few zip ties and maybe some screws and we're good to keep going. It's time to do, I don't want to say sketchy stuff, but like it's pretty close. I got to take my battery out right now so I can get in there and bang out with a hammer. It doesn't look too bad though. I think all of this is gonna kind of bang out pretty good. It just looks like it's been pushed in like right here. It's not too bad, I already like smashed out that side with the jack bar and a hammer. But uh, yeah, we're gonna pull the battery out. I'll uh, get in there with the hammer and then we should be able to slide the battery back over and get it all tight and tightened in there. And then it's a little bit safe, put our bumpers back on and then uh, pack this thing up. Like the car's already back up and running. Okay. okay. everything out with these two tools right here. Drifter's best friend. Battery's back in here. She ain't going nowhere. So she should be good. And uh, everything else, I bashed this out a bit too, so I think we're good. You know what? 
I kind of don't mind how this looks. Looks great. It's definitely a pretty decent <laughs> gap in between the hood and there now, but it'll be fine. <laughs> looks good, looks good. All right, guys, I wanted to end the vlog on this view here. Absolutely beautiful. All the JZX is lined up. If we got rid of your car, then it would be perfect JZX lineup because we got the the Chaser, the Cresta, and the Mark II. But then there's a uh, that's it's like third wheeling Mark, Mark II. II. Clean as <laughs> but this looks beautiful. I'm so ex I'm so happy we brought this like all our cars today. Our missiles from EBC. We definitely brought the uh, missile culture here, didn't we, Jason? Yeah. And you haven't even been to EBC in that car yet, and you brought it. <laughs> Throwing backies in nah, front of me. Still perfect, man. You left your mark here, that's for sure. That's it. We just had to quickly rush and get everything out of the track so they could clean everything on time so the staff for the track could go home. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I had an amazing time driving with Adam and Colette and Jason here. It feels so like rare to be able to bring your Ebisu missile here. So once again, I just want to say a massive shout out to Sidex and Fusto for bringing all our cars here. But then I also want to remind you guys, don't forget about the Insta360 X3 camera and all the cool shots we were able to get today. Definitely something I want to do more of. Don't forget to check out the link down in the description for their Black Friday sales as well. Before we go, what other kind of things do you want to see me take Adam and Colette to? Because next week they're going to be doing a bunch of exploring around Tokyo and stuff with us. And I'm wondering what do you guys want to see them do? Maybe some weird Japan Tokyo stuff or maybe just like cool car stuff. Let us know in the comment section. See you later. Peace. Itai! Itai! Oh my god! <laughs>